Okay, I'm going to take this friction algorithm and put it in a custom block um, to make my code more compact. Uh, this is not necessary. You can skip this video if you want, but if you want to see how a custom block gets made, um, you're in the right spot. Um, so I need to move my video out of the way so I can see. I click on my blocks and I get make a block as an option. Um, when I click make a block, it pulls up this window. Um, we're not going to worry about inputs right now. We're just going to um, make a block called friction. Um, When I define a block, um, I get the block, and I get this new cap, which is the define. Um, whatever is under here happens every time I do this. So I'm going to move this over to the define friction. Um, so now nothing, nothing's working, right? Um, but if I, I click define, if I hold down the arrow key and click define friction, you'll see that it, it sort of does one step of this moves a little bit, slows down a little bit, changes if I'm holding the, the keyboard. Um, and the same thing happens if I click friction. Right? Moving, x speed is getting smaller. Um, right? So this, I've taken all of this code and I've compressed it down to this one friction block. Um, and now that I put it back inside my forever loop, things work just the way they did before.